welcome to another vlog. I haven't vlogged at all. It's uh, 5.35. I just finished dinner. Kind of excited because I got it done in about 15, 20 minutes from like start to finish. And I videoed the whole thing. No, I videoed most of it. I'm doing a video later this month. I don't think it will have aired by the time you see this. It's for some easy weeknight meal ideas or quick meal ideas and some lunch ideas. Um, oh, there's a sneak peek. It's just a quick and easy shrimp pasta dish. Um, personally not a fan of shrimp, but everyone else in my family is, so there you go. And um, also today that I filmed, and this has gone up, is my friend Layla came over. Layla's a doctor, and she doesn't normally do house calls, but she came and um, gave me uh, Botox in the forehead, which has had not kicked in. It won't kick in for days. And then um, talked me into a new lip filler that is very subtle. I don't have any makeup on, like I wiped it all off, I have a little lipstick on, but um, it's very, no bruising. I mean, this was, it's 5.30, we finished at 2.30. So three hours later, it's no swelling, no bruising, so far so good, and if I, I'm, I'm thinking if I hadn't told you guys, you wouldn't know I did anything. Just a little, she says it makes your lips look more hydrated, a little more full, but not like duck face. So I'm giving it a shot, it's a new, and it really didn't hurt, so. It's a little swollen. It's actually going to be smaller than this in about a week. So keep up with the vlog and we'll see how the lips fare. But I actually have got to touch up a little bit of makeup, do something with this, and get dressed because we're off to our weekly Diamondbacker meeting. This is the post-gala debriefing. So hopefully some of us were sober enough to remember what actually happened at the gala. I'm just kidding. Good morning. I have a coffee date with a girlfriend. I'm fluffing my hair before I go. I got here really early. I anticipated like bumper to bumper traffic and there wasn't, which is good, but now I'm like 25 minutes early. So that stinks. Um, I just had a video go up. It's Tuesday. So I will answer comments on my phone while I wait. Um, and my lips are very swollen and puffy. And uh, I was warned this would happen when I woke up, but I was not prepared for this. So hopefully they will go down. I have an, a dentist appointment at 11, and the plan is to drive up to Austin to check out their Nordstrom, which is far larger than um, ours, just to see some stuff in person. Although, frankly, I think I'd rather just stay home and order online today. It's one of those days. Um, I think I figured out that my migraines are triggered by changes in weather, and I had a mother of all migraines this morning, like in the middle of the night. So, I, and then I woke up and checked the weather and it's supposed to rain today. So, I I am a little weather forecaster, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. If it rains, then we know it worked, right? Anyway, I guess I could go in early and snag a table. Because Starbucks is kind of a popular spot at 8.50 in the morning. Look how pretty it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm up. We are driving home from Austin. A better question is why are we coming home from Austin? We decided to uh, check out the Nordstrom at Barton Creek because it's supposed to be a lot bigger and carry a lot more brands in store than our little one here in San Antonio. And it did. It had a few things, but I think I... It didn't look any different. No, it's the exact same, same layout. It was weird. It's the same store. Um, but I think I... Oh, skunk. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Does this guy think planes are just optional? That's what the white line is for. That was crazy. Yeah, it's very weird. He was actually turning left, but encroached into he our right like, lane down. Freaking no physical. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got to be a little bit athletic to drive. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you have to drive in a straight line. Yeah, that coordination would be in order. Hmm. Anyway, we're almost home. Taking the country road home, which could be, like, off. threatening. We're back in three days. I know. Anyway, I figured out that I like a combination of just staying in my little store at Nordstrom and ordering it online. Um, but it's very pretty. And that's worth a drive. Huh. So, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's awesome. For those of you who are familiar with the, okay, you have a problem staying in the lines. Just saying. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the geography, I we're south of Blanco on 281. Just outside Spring Branch. Outside Spring Branch. Very pretty here. So, I like this view right here. Coming up. It's just nice. Soothing. I like the trees. I don't know. There's just something about this little stretch that makes me happy. So that's it. I'm on my way. We are on our way home. And tonight.
tonight's dinner will be chilaquiles and hash browns. Why not? A little breakfast for dinner. I'm very tired. I don't know what is going on with me. Like, I just feel like I had mono when I was going to my freshman year of, high school, of college. I don't feel that tired, but I'm getting there. Anyway, I have my dinner staged. Chilaquiles, not the traditional recipe, but pretty close. I've had to modify things like, obviously we're not using butter. We use earth balance. I don't know what it is. Faux butter, fake margarine. I don't know what it is. Eight eggs. Um, the go veggie should use Monterey Jack. Didn't have any. I'm using cheddar. Close, whatever. It's fine. The only dairy that Shane's really encouraged to eat is Greek yogurt, which I'm using in place of sour cream, which is uh, suggested to use instead of queso fresco if you don't have it. Got my tortilla chips and um, salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it for ingredients. So um, I'm very proud of myself that we're all prepped. I'm ready to go. I'm just waiting for Shane to get home because it takes like five minutes to make. So it's not something you want to make ahead of time. It'll be cold. So waiting for him to get home and while he's showering, I will throw this together. Yummy, yummy. Okay, dinner is done. It took mm, 10 minutes all in and here is it plated. I know it doesn't look particularly pretty. Hello fresh. I am not. And Michael's verdict is really good. I like it a lot. Alrighty then, let's get to it. That's Mimi and Rowdy, and then Wrigley keeps sticking his head in. <coughs> Rowdy. <coughs> Mimi. Leave him alone. I am in heaven right now. I am in a place called Chicago Bagel. It's Chicago food. They have egg bagels, lox, corned beef, pastrami. Real hot dogs. They have sprinkle cookies. Here's what it, it's like totally like it's just old fashioned. Where a place I would eat at if I still lived in the Chicago area. Check it out. I know that man. So I just got an egg bagel and with the onion and tomato and cream cheese. So happy. Yay. Only place in all of San Antonio that has egg bagels. Yeah. This is why I shop at Nordstrom. My Michelle watch broke, which I bought here years ago, and Perfect. they are arranging, right there, Taylor, is arranging to get it all set up and fixed for me with the actual watch company. So, yay for Nordstrom. Shameless plug. I'm shamelessly plugging Nordstrom right now. You can say hi. Hi! If you're over in the jewelry department, she's your girl. Back from Nordstrom, and I only bought two things. Picked up this Stella McCartney evening bag. Just kidding, it is a Nordstrom brand. Chelsea 28, it was like 50 bucks. But it's cute, it's metallic, and it does look like a Stella McCartney bag, doesn't it? Uh, I'm gonna wear it to the Fashion Awards event next week. It's big enough, I don't know if it's big enough to fit my vlogging camera has this chain, which I like that the chain comes off. But anyway, I did that. And then yesterday I bought a Sigma palette, which I am wearing today and I really enjoy, but it actually wasn't the palette I wanted. This is the palette I wanted to get, this one. And I tested it in the store and it is stunning, stunning, very wearable. Look, it has a beige ivory tone. Matte shade, thank you. Matte shade, matte shade, matte shade. A little bit of shimmer. Very wearable. Look at this one though. Oh my gosh. Let's watch this in the store. Sorry, bad finger choice. Look how pretty that is on the lid. Look at this guy. They're so soft. Wow. Okay, and then this one's a little out of my comfort zone, but not too horribly. Okay, it's a little gritty. Very pretty. Nice in here. Hello. So, 
first Sigma makeup purchase was yesterday, but I'm really digging, really digging the quality of their shadows. That was $39. Let's just say $40 for, well, $3 and change per shadow. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty, I am glowing like a glow ball. That's that highlighter I used today. It's a lot of highlighter. I'm gonna go powder myself and I'm gonna go film my October 2015 Where Are They Now video. Why you should never film a video of yourself joking how as long as you don't drop a product, you should have it in your collection forever. That was the original from 2015 Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Let us take a moment to mourn its untimely passing. And I will be adding this to the top of my friends and family wish list. <laughs> so before it gets busy, so before it gets busy, I thought, I get a lot of questions like, what are you doing? Why are you cleaning your kid's locker? So I'm not picking up trash. Although his friend Hayden does have trash in his locker. That's not, I'm not touching that. What we do is we get these gloves. The, the germs. germs on. It's all about the germs. Nasty, nasty. We have our disinfectant. And, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the paper towels. That'd be helpful. We take everything down. So we start from the top. We take the helmet, the pads off, we take the um, practice jersey off the pads, I take that home to be washed. Then I spray down the inside of that helmet, the inside of his pads, and then all inside the locker, all the surfaces, open up. Look, this part opens, see look, I'll just, I'll just show you his neighbors. This part opens, if they have, oh my goodness, um, if they have stuff in there, we do bag it if it's laundry and take it home if it's our kid. If it's not our kid, we bag it, put it in a baggie and leave it hanging on a hook for them in their locker so they can bring it home and let their whole family deal with it. Then we leave them a little snack in here, a little note, a little change note, here, and that's it. So it's fairly quick when all the moms show up and they're just trickling in. So I am going to say adios. We are being responsible. We are getting our flu shot at the grocery store right now. I don't look as excited as you are. Mm, see, see if we get oh, insurance cards. I have my insurance card. I got one. Okay, we are good to go. Insurance Covered. covers all of it, hundred percent. Yay! Always the question: Do you get it? You get your shot in the arm you actually write with, or do you do your non-dominant hand? I'm thinking the dominant hand because you move it more and then... I do it with my dominant hand and then because it my get left stiff. arm is my lead arm as I compress the ball and golf. So my right arm, although it's dominant, is a trail hand. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what's right, up? Here we go. Yeah, yeah, we're... That's a good look. Think we can get that trend going? Hang on. Wow. Okay. Um, we just got back from buying a ton of groceries. My sous chef here is helping me unload. Uh, we take turns cooking lunch for the coaches the day after the game because they sit in school and watch hours and hours of film and give away, give up time with their family. So I am making that pasta bolognese that I've made a few times um, in a vlog. I'm going to make that for them tomorrow. So we just ran to the grocery store and got all the ingredients. And I'm actually going to prep it today. I'm going to pre-chop my onions, the bacon. That's it. But have that done today, so I don't have to deal with it tomorrow. But I picked up the mail, and when I was in LA, I had the opportunity to meet, so there were three bloggers that got to interview, or YouTubers, or whatever you want to call us, that got to interview Nicole Kidman. Um, Angie, from Angie Hot and Flashy, me, and Sona, and Sona Gasparian, I think is her last name. And we got to talking, and um, she asked if I would be interested in trying her new palette, which I had already been eyeing on Instagram. So I was like, yes, please. So she, this came in the mail from... Sona. Pretty. So um, this looks like it's right up my alley. I've swatched some stuff. Right? Me and my warm neutrals. Mommy's happy. So I can't wait to try it. And I do like the compactness of it. So I will let you guys know how that is going. All right. Let's get to cooking. Okay. So the chopping is done. I have... Five onions chopped and ready to go, and two pounds of bacon chopped up, ready to go. Um, they kind of form the base of the sauce, and I will be sauteing them together, probably in batches, because I don't have, a, like, I have a good size skillet or fry pan, but not that big. So I'll probably do it in two batches, and that will be tomorrow, and then brown the ground beef, boil the pasta, and basically just throw it all together in a really big pot. So. I'm gonna get back to important things like watching Emily. Hi, Emily. Come on.
I'm in focus, Emily. There she is. What luxury makeup is worth the hype? So, I'm curious to know this. She's reviewing the Armani Power Fabric, which I've already tried and gave it a big old thumbs down. For me, I think if you have oily skin, you might love it. But as a dry lizard-like person, not so much. All right, we are sitting in the parking lot, getting ready for send-off. This is what the outside looks like, just so you know where we stand. It's the exciting place where it goes down. So, this is a problem, this car here, because Michael is not a rule follower. I am a rule follower. Michael decided that we I'm not should- not a rule follower, I'm a former prosecutor. While well, you're breaking the law. You're the epitome of a rule and Breaking the law, breaking the law. Eesh. Michael insists on bringing Rowdy pretty much everywhere he can, and sometimes places he can't. Like, like, like when you stay at that hotel in Oxford, forty-eight pounds, and the weight limit is fifty pounds, and he's try and he convinced them that our seventy-pound dog is forty-eight pounds. I actually had his shot records from several months ago that had him down at forty-eight. And had it in my pocket. You're so bad. They looked at the date, maybe like that. Was, mm, nice that try, was buddy. A year ago. Rowdy's in the back. He's in his cage, just chilling. Like literally, the air is going. But um, dogs aren't allowed on campus, which I tried to explain to my husband. You don't want to listen to me, so I will disavow any knowledge of you. I don't know you. We've never met, even though we both have our, our names on our shirts. Been together for more than half my life. We just convinced each other that we did the math. We I've known you I've, more than I've, half I've, my I've, life. I've I've been with oh yeah I've, yeah you've known me for a lot more than half. You've just a lot. I just Two passed years, the, babe. Uh, I just passed the half my life date a couple months ago. Congratulations. No, not a couple. I bet you in June. Oh, yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's true. It's been quite a while. Okay. Don't that. mess with my hair. So, okay. Right. Here come. Oh, wow. I see boys. Should we go? That's for the Olive Garden. Shane didn't sign it because he wasn't even homesick. Uh, Olive Garden catered their team dinner. And they wrote a thank you they to did. put on the Olive Garden. Yeah, they're going to send it to Olive Garden. That's really but Shane, that was when he was sick last week. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty then. Let's go send off some boys and hopefully Michael won't get in trouble with the law. We're having fun on the sidelines with my girls. There we go. QB's mom has no name. We just call her Little Red. Thank you. Oh, did you get your kids? Yeah. Welcome to YouTube. Welcome to YouTube. Whoops. Let's make that go away. Yep. Thank you. Come on, dudes. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Man, sweet Get my guns up there. Her son is the deep, deep. I always get long and deep compared. They're the same. All right, he's the snapper for the Texas Tech Raiders football team. Woo! Guns up! There's guns up and there's also Reckham. Reckham, yes. I don't know why. I don't either. I don't know. No, I've been there five years. I don't know why they stay there. I know why they throw jerseys. Um, yes, because somebody made fun of them. There's only, there's only two things in loving: tortillas and football. And football, yes. Hey, hey! hey. hey. There's more friends back right there. Wave hi to the CEO. Oh my God! Are you blind? Let's go, defense! And there's there are the fan. The fans are outrageous. They're very rambunctious as parents. All right, food has been delivered. That was a lot of food. <laughs> I think that the coach is like, I think we have lunch in the next three days. We are good. I tend to overfeed. That's what I do. It's better to have too much than not enough, though. Good. I brought my helper. Those, that was heavy. Oh, yeah. 
Awesome. Seeing those guys are great to work hard. They do. They're going to be here today. They've been here since 7.30 this morning. They're going to come in tomorrow, and then they have 7.30 practice on Monday. It's Columbus Day. Poor kids. Hey. It's almost 7. Rowdy. It's almost 7. Where'd the day go? You don't know. What do you know? I have the urge to make banana bread. So, I used to make it all the time, but obviously flour is not a thing we use in the house anymore, but I have a blogger friend named Alicia. I mentioned her before, Lush List. She swears that this gluten-free, multi-purpose flour, that's not really flour, uh, works. Cup for cup, it's called. I feel like, yeah, no, I have two of these. I bought two. So, she said just make your recipes like normal. Just whenever it says flour, use this. So that's what we're gonna do. And the banana bread recipe I have used for years and years and years is the Martha Stewart one. I just don't add nuts because I personally don't care for them. And the secret I've learned is when you grease the pan, instead of flouring it, do cinnamon sugar. Coat it with cinnamon sugar. It's so good. Maybe not the healthiest choice? Who cares, it's banana bread. I'm thinking pumpkin loaf next. Oh, yeah, if this works, I think I have some canned pumpkin. Except I usually do like a cream cheese filling in the middle. Can't do that, she can't have dairy. I'm gonna have to get creative. Yep, I have pumpkin. I could do this. I just have to figure out how to fake cream cheese. Don't exert yourself, Rowdy, really, just sit there. All right, plans keep changing. So um, Shane has all of his buddies over um, and one of them we ordered Papa John's for them but they now carry gluten-free crust yay so just ordered Shane a gluten-free crust with no cheese it's kind of lame like it was pathetic but Shane really enjoyed it and here's my banana bread it's all done just gotta take it out it looks like it's a, a little brown or I think it cooks a little more quickly so I'm gonna get it out of here because it's cooled off enough to touch and we'll slice it up and see if it tastes as good as the original full of gluten version. We have parody. This is so good. Look at this beautiful golden color. Nice crust. It tastes exactly the same. It's fluffy and light. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I can start baking again like a normal person. Just in time for fall. This makes me very happy. Ooh, I can't wait to give this to Shane. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna sign off for tonight. I'll see you Sunday morning. Good morning, it is Sunday. And this is, I have pancakes going for the five boys that slept over. The table is already set. The bacon is already made. The only thing is, which is a little weird, is that there are five boys upstairs, none of whom are related to me, Shane has Sunday school this morning. He's a teacher's assistant. And I'm letting him skip next week because we will be out of town. So, and he's gonna be staying with a friend. So I made him go this week. <laughs> so he left and um, he has it from nine to 12. It's almost 11, 1045. Kids aren't up yet. I hear movement though. Um, so I said, boys, just tell your friends to sleep in and we'll feed them. <laughs> when they wake up. And I had two of these Bisquick, like normal, non-gluten-free, um, you know, filled with wheat kind of pancake mix I need to use up. So with Shane not here, I can just feed them all. And by the time they probably come downstairs and finish eating, Shane will walk in the door. And then they're gonna spend the rest of the day watching NFL Red Zone, which is a special channel where it just like rotates from highlight to highlight to highlight of all the games that are going on right now. Cause they're all in the same fantasy football league. It's kind of funny, so. Um, once Shane gets home, Michael and I'll probably head out, run some errands, and kind of getting in the mood for fall decorating finally. And I've discovered this new blog. It's not new, but it's new to me, called mytexashouse.blog. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this woman's house, and I'm obsessed with the paint color that she has throughout her house. It's called Repose Gray, which is by Sherwin-Williams. And I might go get a, like a pint or the little quart and go paint it on some walls because I think I found my new paint color. We're discussing the football. Oh, the 72 Dolphins, yeah. Mm -hmm.
They were pretty good. They were good. What happens? Like they're gonna, if the cheese are still on the beard when the dogs are yeah, yeah. so the bacon game. went over well. In Kansas City or Miami? Aaron Day. Say hi, babe. Hey, babe. Where did we go today? Home Goods. Home Goods Sam's Club, which went is my favorite new place for us. We went to Home Goods for two things. Sam's Club, by the way, blows Costco away. We went to Home Goods for two things. We walked out with a giant bag, like the biggest bag they make. It's a great place for dog toys. We are such suckers for a good dog toy. Turn your Wi-Fi off at this Okay, I did take your advice, guys, and in the car, I just ordered the Jolly Ball for Rowdy. And now we're gonna do our weekly shop on a Sunday afternoon because we are insane. Also because there are six loud, large boys in our house that we've decided to escape. I said seven because I included Rowdy. <laughs> Rowdy's locked. Look at the... Look at the pumpkins! Oh my god, those are the ugliest. Why would someone want those with the bumpies? You get a cart? Okay. Look at these, these are creepy. To me it looks like there's a fungus on them. I don't like them. I don't know. These are kind of cool. I like these. These are called Cinderella pumpkins. Wow, this is so cool. Look at all these pumpkins. It's like a pumpkin patch. At my grocery store, very cool. I didn't have lunch. You don't need to have lunch. First I ate my way through the samples at Sam's, and now I have truffle mac and cheese and truffle risotto. I love my grocery store so much, so much. We just finished date night on a Sunday night, and we just saw American Made with Tom Cruise. We're just like the last people leaving the theater. I'm gonna say good night here. Thanks for another fun week. Michael's just checking all the messages. And um, anyway, thanks for another vlog. Thanks for hanging out with us. And next one should be pretty darn busy. We've got a lot going on starting tomorrow night. So I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our fun. See you guys later.